Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to our kitchen. As you could probably see by the title of today's video, we're going to be showing you guys what we eat for breakfast, some of our favorite breakfast recipes. I personally love breakfast, so do all my sisters. The purpose of this video is to give you new and exciting recipes and ideas. I think it's great to have a variety in your breakfast and hopefully this video will help you do that and find things that you love. You're probably wondering, why is it dark outside and you're filming a breakfast video? Well, I'm gonna be making carrot cake overnight oats. Literally my favorite breakfast recipe ever. I made this up like a couple weeks ago. It's so good, it's so easy to make. I have all the ingredients here. You are going to need oats, I use rolled oats. Milk, this is oat milk. Carrots, a banana cinnamon and nutmeg, a sweetener of your choice, I like to use agave, cream cheese, I like to use dairy free, flaxseed meal, this just adds seeds and protein. I would add a nut butter of your choice in the center. I use sun butter because I'm actually allergic to peanut butter and like almond butter and that stuff. It tastes really good, I'm addicted. I'm also gonna be using some honey. Here's all the ingredients, let's get to work. All right, so we're gonna start with our glass bowl. Next, we're gonna take half of a banana, then we're gonna mash it with a fork until it's very thin. After mashing up the banana, we're gonna add our rolled oats, then we're gonna add some oat milk. You can use whatever milk you want though. Next, we're gonna add our flaxseed, our sweetener, which I used agave, and then we're gonna add our seasoning, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And don't spill it like I did. After it is all mixed, we're gonna start working on our carrots. You have to grade one to two carrots, not that much. Then we'll just add it into our mixture and mix it all around. Next, let's make our topping. We're gonna add some dairy-free cream cheese and honey, super simple, placed in the microwave for five to 10 seconds so that it can soften a little bit. Next, make a hole in your oats, add your nut butter. I use sun butter and then just cover it up, add on your topping, and then I like to add a couple grated carrots on top. Lastly, just put on your lid, stick it in the refrigerator, and you're good to go. best iced coffees I've ever made. Hi guys, so this is Caroline and today we're going to be making avocado toast. I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients that you're going to need. I feel like the hardest part about avocado toast is having a ripe avocado. I'm also going to be making an egg toast on the side. So what you're going to need is an avocado. I'm using half an avocado. Then I'm going to be using some seasoning salt, garlic powder, everything bagel seasoning. You should have some black pepper in there. You can also add like lemon juice. I've seen people do that. Then we're obviously going to need a piece of toast or two. Here we have our avocado toast and egg toast. Let's try the avocado toast. Okay, let's try the egg. The avocado is like the healthy fats part of the breakfast and the eggs are like protein and then the toast is the carbs. Hey guys, so it's Savannah here and one of my favorite breakfasts that I like to make is banana bread. I've been making banana bread like once a week now and it's like really convenient for me to be able to have banana bread just like pre-made for the week. So usually during my day off, I would make some banana bread. I put some bananas in here a couple days ago because they were not ripe at all. They just managed to be like perfectly ripe now. A couple of things I use instead of eggs is I use flax meal. We use vegan butter. Let's get started.
guys, it's Michelle and today I'm going to show you my favorite healthy breakfast. I like to make an omelet. I don't really put that much in it. We have this dairy-free cheese. I try and use a minimal amount of dishes when I'm cooking, so I actually whisk my egg in the pan. I usually have two eggs and then I start cooking it over like medium heat. Then I add in the dairy-free cheese. Then I add some hot sauce and then it's ready to go. So it's really simple and really easy and it's really fast. So this is Ellie and I will be making the yogurt parfait because it's really easy to make and I love fruit. My secret recipe. So what I have is a big bag of chia seeds, some strawberries, banana, some Chobani oat yogurt. Oh, we need a bowl. I have one last thing. It's granola. Wait. I'm not very good with these camera angles. Oh, someone's coming up here. And then I come into the frame and Okay, can you please go? I'm literally filming. <laughs> All right. Dave, be quiet. Dave, they can hear your loud walking, okay? Bruh, I don't know what day this is. Ah! Girl, I'm here. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you guys how to really make that because I don't want to. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> so yeah, that's the tea. Wow. And the cheese is literally moldy. We love that. What am I supposed to do? That's how you bake a cake. Oh, great. This is granola! Yay! Breakfast! On a plate! Peace. Yeah. That's not a good idea. Oh, don't put that in. I do not look good. Okay. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> mm, this is not working very well. <laughs> oh, I'm recording. Oh, whoops. Oh, you made Oh, yeah, I guess. But, but there's no one thing. Rach, you're in the background. Wait, what? Rach. What? <laughs> uh, I have a knife. Whoops. Close the oven. What the heck? Mother, where are the oats I made last night? 